here at the Chicago Children's Museum and I'm in the tinkering lab with none other than Kim Coyne, Director of Art and Tinkering Studios at Chicago Children's Museum. Which is the coolest title here and probably the longest title. And I'm really excited to have because Kim is a super awesome tinkerer and I know nothing about tinkering. So today is the day that we are all going to find out not only why tinkering is important, but how you can do it at home with your little ones. So. Let's get started. What is tinkering? Tinkering has been around forever, and you know, knowing that um, babies tinker, a lot of tinkering is trying things out, not having a pre-described notion of what you're going to do. So if you think about a baby picking up a ball, a toilet paper tube, um, a piece of Kleenex, kind of just discovering what it is. So that's what tinkering is for babies. So it's like oh. exploration. Part of tinkering is um, what I like to say is learning that failure is a great option. So if you fail, you're going to learn from that. You're going to be able to take that information and then make something better. We are using hammers and saws, sometimes even um, some uh, power drills with children. The first thing you see when you come in is a stop sign that says eye protection required. So I know that um, the children that can come in and can try out the hammers, saws, um, are the children who can put on their safety glasses and keep them on their face. We've had three and four year olds come in the space and they have been able to try out a hammer awesome. and a nail. Step one is this tool giving them a C-clamp. So we do want to use this clamp. We're going to clamp it to the table, so we need to make this bigger. A lot of what we do at the Children's Museum, um, we say we wait, watch, follow. So we want to give kids, adults, everyone a chance to, yeah, figure it out for themselves. Yeah, no, completely. I am watching a child do this. So are they able to pay attention? Are they able to focus on what the clamp is doing? Then I kind of know how I'm going to present the <laughs> drill to them. I noticed that we have some disassembled animals mm -hmm. on the table right now and I'm extremely curious about whatever this is. What we do at Tinkering Lab, one of our programs is the art of take apart. So we might have multiples of something which are which can be great, you know, putting them in work? here. Yeah, so we try to have um, at least something that works so when you're taking apart, you can see what's happening. Um, so, we, so I see his legs move, so his, his legs tails move, move mm -hmm. his nose moves, mm -hmm. and he makes a wonderful noise. And he makes a wonderful noise. Stuck the batteries in, turn them on. So now we can really see, well, how does the nose move? Wow, there's a little mechanism in there. Oh, the, how does the tail move? There's a, there's a spring in there. And because we were, we were able to get so many multiples of those. Would that turn on? It was, it was yes. Just, oh, that's going to be cool. So here we go. Let's see how this one's going to work. So now you can really see how oh, yeah. this nose works. Oh, that is so, so cool. It's how it's connected. Mm -hmm. I would and not it's have still oinking. It's all connected. It's still oinking, yep. Sadly, there's not a lot of tinkering in school, just due to lack of time. Mm -hmm. And not everyone's able to come down to the Children's Museum, although you should. Uh, but, mm -hmm. so let's say you're at home on a Saturday and you want to tinker. What's the best way to start with your little one, as a, if you were a parent? It's mm -hmm. like, let's go out to the garage and blank. What should we do? That's a good question. I would say keep it simple. You don't need to, ha you don't need to have a whole tinkering lab. That is okay. Um, Okay. One thing we do at the Tinkering Lab is we might just have a big piece of wood, a hammer, and nails. And that's it. And, you know, again, see how, see how your child gets into that. If you happen to be in Chicago, come on down to the Chicago Children's Museum. If not, make sure to check out your local area because there's a lot of museums and a lot of places that offer tinkering and tinkering camps and tinkering workshops. And also, you can tinker in your home now that we know how. Mm -hmm. So, make the most of it because tinkering is no small matter. I hit the nail on the head. That's my pun for the day. <laughs>